Welcome to Virtual STEM Club Sensational Sundials. I'm Sandy and today we're going to use the sun to make a time telling piece. Back in the old days they used sun and shadows to know what time of day it was unlike today where we might use a watch or some people use their phone to know what time it is. You should have already picked up your take and make bag which we'll need for our project today. And in our take and make bag, we're going to have a paper plate, a dowel, some thin sticky tape, and some number stickers. And when we're all done, we will have our own fun little sundial. All right, the steps for our sensational sundial are pretty simple. We're going to take our dowel, and then we're gonna take our plate and turn it upside down. And we're just gonna poke the dowel through the hole in the paper plate, or that's actually a plastic plate, and just poke it through so it stands up. And if it doesn't quite stand up, or if it doesn't, if it's the hole is just a little too big, you can take your tape that's in your project and you can um, tape around the hole or in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape on the underside and see if I can make my dowel stand up a little bit straighter. So I'll just take it and kind of attach it like that. And if I have to use two or three pieces to get it straight, or even if I have to put a piece on this side, I will do that. This tape is pretty easy to tear, but if it's giving you troubles, go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and cut it with scissors. And the important thing here is we just want our dowel to be standing up as straight as possible so that when we get outside into the sun that our shadows are straight, as straight as possible. So I'll just put a couple more pieces on here so that my dowel is standing up straight. pretty good. So that's our base for our sundial. And again, if anybody has any questions, you just stick the dowel through the hole in your plate and poke it through to the bottom, just like that. And now we're ready to go do the important part, figuring out the time. All right, now that we've got this assembled, we're ready to go outside and start actually making our sundial. One really important thing to know is that it needs to be in the same spot every time you go out to make your mark on your hour. Um, you can do that a couple of different ways. If you don't want to secure your dowel to your plate, you could also stick it down. If you're out in the yard and grass and dirt, you could stick the dowel in the dirt to help it stay in place. Or you could also just put some small stones or something like that um, to keep it in place so that you know where it was and you can get your um, hours marked on your plate accurately. So just for example, if you start at nine o'clock in the morning and you make your mark here and you leave your plate in the same spot, secure it so that when you go out at 10 o'clock and you use the 10 o'clock shadow so that your, if your plate were to twist, then your hour marks wouldn't be accurate. Like your, if you started here, but then your plate twisted, you might have a very inaccurate mark between hours. So we wanna make sure that we secure our plate so that we can make accurate marks on the hour. Let's go make a sundial.
Now that you've got all your hours marked on your plate, you can leave your sundial out in your yard or your garden, wherever you've chosen to put it, so that next time you go outside and you're supposed to be home at four o'clock or you wanna go in for a two o'clock snack, you can look at your sundial and know that it's time to go inside and have your snack. The plate is water plastic and waterproof and the dowel is as well, so this should give you a lot of fun in your yard this summer. Thanks for joining us for Virtual STEM Club Sensational Sundials. I hope you had fun with your project and are able to use it in your yard or garden this summer. If you have any video or pictures of you doing this project, we'd love to see them and you can share them with us at the email address on the screen. Thanks again and see you next time.